All right, guys, you know the drill. Everybody, Silver Picker here, and today I want to talk to you about this big old bag of nickels. Now, for those of you who haven't seen my last two videos, you gotta go back and watch them. Okay, take a look at the preview over here. This is from a massive, massive haul I had with 100 ounces of silver, and over here you can see this massive, massive haul of copper cents, which of course has some extra surprises. This bag of nickels came from that same purchase. We still have another video to go with all of the foreign stuff, but today we're gonna be going through this bag of nickels. Now, as you can see, most of the stuff in here uh, consists of Liberty V nickels, so a lot of old stuff. I haven't gone through any of this yet, so we're gonna go through it together on camera and see what the heck we get. Okay, you guys know the drill. Start as usual, just going to start organizing them and then we'll go through them. All right, a 1926 Buffalo nickel. Pretty cool. At least it's something different. More 1908. More 1911. Hey, what do you know, a 1912. Looks like we found a pocket of buffaloes. Nineteen thirty. Nineteen thirty. Wow, look at that. Wow, look at the detail on that. That is just spectacular. That's probably gonna go into my typeset. Alright, and this is what we've got. So, at the end of the day, we've got 120 Liberty V nickels and 14 Buffalo nickels. Now, I am actually really, really happy with this because this was totally just a bonus. This was a bonus in regards to the major haul that I had with the 100 plus ounces, etc., of silver. So that is really what the goal was, and this was just sort of the cream that came to the top. Now, I will say that I'm not exactly excited by what we found here. I mean, we've got 10 1901s, 20 1902s, 20 1903s, 20 1908s, and almost 40 1911s. And then we have a smattering of a couple of other dates, but for the most part, we really have just this chunk of very, very common dates. Um, with the Buffalo nickels, however, I'm a little bit more excited because many of these, even though we only have 1927, 1929, and 1930, we do have some S and D mint marks, which of course are much, much lower mintages. So we actually do have a couple of coins here that may go for like 10 bucks a piece. For example, this 1930S Buffalo Nickel in excellent shape. Isn't that gorgeous? So there's not really much more to say about this. If you guys are interested in buying any of these coins, you are more than welcome to. Ideally, I'd like to sell all of these to just one collector that's interested in them for whatever reason. Uh, so just shoot me an email at thesilverpicker at gmail.com. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more because we are definitely going to go through the other foreign coins that came in this lot, which I'm really excited about, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't clicked subscribe, click that subscribe button, and also of course hit that bell. That bell will notify you anytime I put out new content so you're sure not to miss anything. And as usual, please give me a nice big thumbs up. Hitting the like button really, really does help my channel, and I really, really would appreciate it. Now, of course, leave me comments below if you have any questions or anything to say about Liberty Nichols, about this haul, etc. I love hearing from you. Now, of course, finally, follow me over here on social media. And if you've enjoyed the video, I hope you come back for more. Until then, Silver Picker out.